Battlestar Galactica, the new season, the final season. I watched the first episode yesterday and wanted to come on and talk about it just a minute. Now, first of all, let me say, this video contains spoilers. I repeat, this video contains spoilers. If you don't like spoilers, if you don't want to know, stop, turn off the video now. You have been warned. I don't want to hear anyone complain. Thank you very much. Now, on with the video. Okay, so I watched the first episode of the new season of Battlestar Galactica, the final season. And it raises almost as many questions as it answers. Actually, it really doesn't answer any questions, and it does make me wonder where the heck they are trying to go with this final season. There's sort of hints around, um, I don't know, I would have thought, having known that this was going to be the final season, they would have, I don't know, come up with something better. Of course... It's kind of hard, I know, to write yourself out of the Planet of the Apes ending, which they ended the last season on. So you, we find out that this planet, supposedly Earth, which I'll say right off, I don't believe is actually Earth, um, was really home to the human Cylons and another unknown Centurion model that they've never seen before, i.e. implying that the 13th tribe was really Cylon, which doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense, but okay, let's just say that's your hypothesis. It, it just really doesn't make sense. Okay, so you're saying that, okay, everybody was on COBOL, and then the humans developed Cylons, and the Cylons went and founded Earth while the other humans went and founded the other 12 colonies. Okay, yeah, maybe, but there, you think there would have been more, hey, you know, we made these sentient machines, somebody would have mentioned that, you know, supposedly in the scriptures. And on the one hand, this whole episode tried to downplay the whole religious um, significance that they've been building up a lot in the previous episodes. Uh, you know, of course, there's still tons of symbolism. The destruction happened 2,000 years ago. Hmm. And you have uh, the president, who's now pretty much a basket case and burned her scriptures, thinking that everything she believed uh, is a lie when, in fact, it may or may not be the case, especially since I don't believe they really found her. You know, and but that doesn't... Okay, so maybe, let's say, even if her whole polytheistic religion of the colonials is a lie, that still doesn't explain the whole Cylon religion thing and the elements that they built up with Baltar and the Six, where Baltar is seeing these, you know, these basically avatars, they've determined already it's not some chip in his head, he's seeing visions of this number six, and the six is apparently seeing visions of Baltar. Okay, there's some other force at play here, or at least that's what they've set up, and if they don't resolve that somehow, I'm going to be rather disappointed. Then there's the whole Final Five Cylon issue with the beginning of the episode, they lead you to believe that Starbuck is the final Cylon, having found her crashed uh, Viper, supposedly, you know, went through some wormhole where there was before and crashed on the planet, and she's dead, okay, and then, of course, she's wondering how she's alive, and back, and so they give you, oh, well, wait a minute, maybe she's the last Cylon, and has somehow been, you know, reborn her whatever. However, later in the episode, they pretty much confirm without a doubt that the final five is Ty's wife, where he sees the vision of her in the past when they were in the back. So, if Ty's wife is the final five, which I think it is from looking at the episode, again, we're left with the question is, who the heck is Starbuck? And, 
how the heck did she get that brand new stinking Viper that she flew back to the fleet in? Because that's still a big, big, big mystery that they're not letting on yet. I, they've got a few more episodes for that, I'm sure. But then also, the, the, they've got the whole thing about the final five. So what they're saying with this, I believe they're implying, is that the final five, of course, are from this Earth planet. And apparently that would mean that they're at least 2,000 years old. And they don't have many copies like the modern Cylons that are going. And so that's why uh, you know, there's only one of each of them at a time, apparently. Maybe they do serial regeneration and just have, you know, like a Time Lord, there's only one of you, but you just regenerate again when you die. I don't know, but still that's sort of a far stretch. Of course, that could imply that the Cylons left one of the, the final five, left their original world after it got nuked 2,000 years ago, migrated to the colonies, and of course probably helped the humans in the colonies develop the Cylons, the new Cylons, which eventually rebelled and whatever. So maybe they're trying to imply that the that the final five are in fact quote unquote the creator deities for the Cylons even though that doesn't seem to re seem to fit well with what they put forward before up to this point either so we still got a whole bunch of questions I still have a feeling that there's that they're going to come out later or they should I think the way they've run up the series that there is some other divine element guiding this whole situation. Otherwise, they've done a whole lot of setup in this in the series for nothing. Uh, but, you know, who knows how the writer's going to write this out. Especially when the previews of the next episode appears to be some throwaway dramatic episode where we're going to have ooh, the civil government's rebelling against the military government now that we don't have a home world and we just want to go somewhere else and find a nice place to live we think that might be a good idea and so there's going to be some you know apparent little mini civil war which of course you know that Adama and his side is going to win and everything so there's not really much whole suspense in that the civil government both in this show and in the original Battlestar Galactica sh show was pretty much a joke either way you go. This is pretty much basically a military run society in either one, in either case. Two other episode two other things about the episode, of course, you know, the suicide. Which, you know, I figured somebody had to do it. Everybody was talking about suicide. You had the whole thing with Ty and Adama, and you knew neither one of them were gonna blow their brains out. I mean come on. No, that's just not gonna happen there too major characters, and Adama wasn't going to do it. So they had to have the other character, uh, Lee's Squeeze, old Squeeze, now new Squeeze, you know, end it all. First of all, because it gets her character out of the way so he can get back with Starbuck, because, you know, that's the culmination. Him and Starbuck are going to be together at the end of the show. So they had to get rid of her, just in the same way they had to get rid of her uh, boyfriend in that episode earlier so she could be with Lee for a while. Now they're getting rid of her because she's outworn her usefulness. So that seems to be the thing. They use the character until they are tired with him and then they let him go. I'm wondering if they're letting that happen to President Roslyn because she's pretty much a basket case now and seems to not be functioning anymore. It appears like it's going to be pretty much all Adama for the rest of the hall, which actually isn't that bad a case because I never really liked Rosalind that much anyway. Well, we'll see what happens and I think we've got nine more episodes left. Until next time, have some good viewing.